guys, welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. Actually, it's the day before Vlogmas, but that still counts because I am going to have you guys follow me throughout the day. So, it is Friday night. Hope you guys could see me. I didn't put my light on. I want to say a big shout out for those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you. I'm at 168. I'm hoping to get to 200. Um, I said once I get to 200, I will be doing a $25 gift away. Who would not want some extra Christmas money? So what we have planned for today. Now, this is my first year doing this. So I don't really know if there's like a structure to do these videos. But I'm going to do them my way. So hopefully you guys will be interested enough. And maybe find my life a little bit interesting to follow me every day. I am going to shoot for the next what is it 30 days of December I, I, I don't even know um let me, I think it's 31 days I'm sorry 31 days I am going to shoot a video about my life so I'm actually doing this series so when I'm feeling blue or I feel like discouraged I could just go back to see how much fun I had doing these videos so before I give you guys a little bit of the schedule for today so right now before I go to bed and wake up tomorrow morning I am actually getting two stuff ready that I sold on eBay now if you guys have been following me I did mention now this was a while back this is probably a month ago I bought this it's called learn to draw calipari animals by Andrew Fox I bought it at the dollar store and I sold it for about $5.25 at Amazon. Yes, it's not that big of a money. But let me tell you, when you have two or three items in the same week, it adds up. So I sold this one for $5.25. I believe they're still there. You might be able to I sell a little bit higher than what I sold it. That is fine um, if people want to buy it. And then the other thing I sold, I had this for a long time. This is called the popular, uh, what was it, Princess Sophia. I actually lost money on this, guys. I bought this for like almost two years ago. And I bought it at Kmart. I thought it was a good deal. I think there were like two for 20 or two for 30. So I bought two. I actually gave one away to uh, Toys for Tots, one of my coworkers. She's collecting them toys for her um, friend at the teacher so I gave one away and I sold one but I really didn't make that much money I think I sold for like $45 so 45 and fives about 50 after you take out fees and shipping I'm probably looking at maybe overall having $33 which is not that bad um so what we have planned on for today we are going to finish packing these up and then I am going to be working on, um, I have a folder. See, I'm still behind. I'm still on Wednesday. We're going to be working on a rough draft because I told you guys before, my husband and I are adopted a baby. And we haven't been matched yet, but we have a lot of paperwork to do first. We're just starting a home study. I already filled out my application. He has his part to fill out. Uh, but we do have to pass in both of us two pages of an autobiography so i figured i would probably start the rough draft tonight and then tomorrow i could type it up on the computer my husband's an excellent writer uh, you know very good grammar i'll have him look at it and then i could just type that up and then i'll be all done with it uh, the thing is guys adopted it's i didn't know how much work was involved in adopting a baby it's almost like you're in college I don't know if you guys if you went to college online I did we had blackboard well I have like almost like a blackboard that I have to set up to almost every day just to check which is if there's any messages that's going on anything that my coordinator wants me to work on right now I just started so really nothing's due but what I learned as working as a medical scheduler even at my job, I have things that I have to do. I learn when you get things done on a timely manner, then you're not so stressed, right? So, I mean, we still have time. We have at least six months to get the stuff done. But I figured I want to get it done now and get it over with. I will be explaining to you guys a little bit about the adoption. Unfortunately for you guys, 
I'm doing the vlogs, so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm working on each day, but maybe after Vlogmas, I might just do one video just to explain the whole adoption process, but now you're kind of just jumping into what's going on in my life. So that's what we're working on for today. Then we're going to go to the post office. After the post office, I'm coming home. We're going to have a little bit of breakfast, and then maybe later on in the day, uh, I might go to a thrift store. I'm not sure. Um, but we are going to a concert tonight. My husband got us some nice tickets. There are some nuns that are singing, and I think it's based off that movie. I forgot the name of it. I don't really remember. Um, Sister Act. Yes, there we go. So, and also we have a couple of stuff that I'm going to be working on in here. So I got to take some pictures. I have some clothes. I did a, I recently just did a vlog about the clothes I got for Black Friday. This is what's left over. And then I'm going to show you guys another big project that I'm working on. We're also working on a nursery. Yes. I attack three, six things at one time, guys. So I'm actually embarrassed. Close your eyes because this is really embarrassing. I want you guys to see this. This is, I basically use this room like a closet. Actually like a basement. So this is what I have to work with this weekend, as you guys can see. brace yourselves right look at i don't even have curtains and one of them there's a curtain there's like a shade and the other one i don't know what's going on there but this is going to be the nursery room guys i'm so excited so what we're doing this week and maybe i'll fill this we are going to get rid of every single item that's in this room so all these boxes that you guys see all over this place we are going to get rid of them and we're gonna clean this room out completely and then when we're done I am going to get rid of these colors because these colors remind me of the six years of not being able to have a child on my own because I suffer PCOS which is one of the worst types of infertility you could have um, I did talk about that in one of my old videos. If you guys want to know about that story, I think I talked about for like 40 minutes, a whole bean diagnosis and everything. So I want to start on a fresh palette. Now, I don't know what I'm going to have. It's in God's hands. And all I could be is just be positive and be hoping that, you know, a birth mom matches with us. But I always like the color blue. Like light blue has always been my favorite color. I figured if we have a girl, if we have a, a boy, I could easily switch it. So if we have a girl and the walls are painted light blue, I could add white, gold, or a little bit of pink, like, you know, some type of decorations. If it's a boy, I could do gray and white, you know, in a tan color. So that's what I'm working on today, as you guys could see, the first day of Vlogmas. Um, yeah, this is going to be a workout itself. Um, I was supposed to work out this week at the gym, but you know what? After you guys just saw this mess, and I'm very embarrassed, this mess of a room, um, that will be my workout. It's going to be fun, guys. I will have you guys in the whole journey of doing the nursery, you know, hopefully one day I could have you guys fly out with me to pick up this baby. And this will be a good video because then they could see how much work and effort was involved to um, have this baby. So, yeah. So, and then what else are we doing? Then what I say? So, we're going to post office and um, then what else? Oh, yeah, and the concert. So, as you guys can see in this room, there's a lot of stuff. When I first started on eBay, I would just buy crap that I didn't need. Like, all this stuff. Like, I didn't really know what my niche was in eBay. And so, I just kept watching all these videos, seeing other thrifters out there buying stuff. So, I just fell into the trap and I just bought this a lot of stuff. And now, look at it. It's all sitting here, you know? And I'm just going to have to get rid of all of it. So that's, it's like a big loss. But I had this stuff here, guys, for more than four years. And the room has been cleaned. It has been messy. It has been cleaned. But now it's officially going to be clean. 2019 is going to be a really good year. A lot of positive changes are happening. Um, a nice fresh start. 
So let's see. What are we going to do now? Right now, we are going to see if I could turn this light off here. Um, we're going to ship the items I told you guys I was going to sell, right? And then later on today, I will work on getting these up because we need all the money we can get to for this adoption. So uh, it's it's a lot of money, guys. And I'll have to do a video to break down prices. It's It really depends on what agency you're using. And um, some people, they really do start like, like a GoFundMe page and they saved up years. We just, I decided that I was gonna use my own money. Um, and luckily for me, my job that I work at, the hospital that I work at, they are giving me a reimbursement. It's not that much. And then there's also a tax break. So we figured we would just use our own cash. Um, and then from there, maybe after, cause you really can't get any grants until you have a past home study. So I'm hoping after our home study, I could apply for a grant out there and maybe get a little bit of extra money, but I'm not really hoping on it, guys. Just in case if I don't get the grant, then I'm not like disappointed that I can't do my, um, my adoption. But before I go in the computer and print out my stuff, I wanna show you guys what I did. So if you're watching this video, and you're someone, maybe a couple or even a single person, you're trying to come up with clever ways to save money for the adoption. All it is, guys, is it requires saving. So what I did, I already went ahead, I print out a 2019 calendar for next year. And every word that you guys see that's pink, those are my pay week. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. So... I remember, I don't know if I mentioned this last night, but I did do two sales on Friday and I was having a hard time printing out the labels, but I was able to print it out. Um, and what I'm doing right now is before I go to the post office, I am just going on my eBay store and I'm just lowering maybe a dollar or two some of the items that I have. And I'll show you guys. So this is my store right now and I just every morning, I usually, before I go to work, <clears throat> Or after work I come home and I just look at how many views I have on the items and I just lower them a dollar or two sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but I try not to undercut myself too much um, but if I had an item for like five or seven months at that point I just want to get rid of it I don't want to keep it because it's a bigger loss so I'll do that and then I'll go to my Poshmark store I'll show you guys what that looks like and I'll do the same thing. I will basically just see what I could. Well, hi guys, I'm back. So I went to the post office and we had breakfast and now we're on our way to the concert. I don't know if I could film, but I'm taking my camera with me and hopefully I can get some footage for you guys so you guys can see the concert. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of the concert. I'm not gonna film the whole thing. That way you guys get to hear a little bit of it. But I wanted to show you what I did so far. We talked about the tasks I had to get done. So this is what the room looks like now. So all this side here are things that we are going to get rid of. So if you guys could see it on the side. And this is how much I have left. So it's really not that much. They're pretty much boxes with like nothing in them. And I just have to sort some things that I might want to keep and things that I don't want to keep. So I did not do any makeup tonight. Um, I just went with my white sweater, um, my Kokoris black bag, and I just wore jeans. You guys could see. And then I just have like my shiny holiday socks. So that's pretty much what I have going on. Definitely wear my glasses. I'm going to put some lip gloss on. I just did my earrings and then some mascara. I don't know if you guys could see it. But that's what I did. Uh, so I'm really glad I got that done. When I get home, I don't know what time because the concert, we're going to my husband's church to get on a shuttle bus. And then from there, I think it's about a 30 or 40, 40 minute commute. So I'm going to get home really late. Um, I was able to do 
at least four paragraphs for my home study essay. So I think tonight what I'm going to do is start typing up the first four paragraphs. At least I have that done. And then tomorrow, my friend's coming over. In the morning, we're going to put up my Christmas tree. And we're going out for brunch. And I will take you guys along with me for the brunch ride. Um, but after that, um, we're going to come home, probably watch a movie. Um, put up my Christmas tree. And then I'm just going to see how much... I think I might be able to do four more paragraphs, like a rough draft, and then type it up that way Monday, I'm like halfway through, because I really want to get this autobiography done by this week. Um, so I'm really excited, because once that's done, then my husband could do his, and then I can mail out my application in January, and that way I'm able to work on part two. So that's what's going on. Um, so pretty soon we should be at the concert. Okay guys, we are here. This is schedule. Glorious right. So now we're just all waiting before it starts. Looks like it's about at least an hour to hour long, but I will film what I can. Look around.
the concert was incredible. They basically took traditional Christmas songs and they added a little bit of twist to it. There was a little bit of comedy. I didn't want to shoot everything because I really wanted to enjoy the concert. And at the same time, I just don't think it's fair for me to just shoot the video while, you know, they work very hard to come up with these songs and people actually pay to go to the concert. So I want to make sure that, you know, if you are interested in seeing them, they do travel across the states. Um, it's called Glorious Night. Um, and I do believe that they're all on Instagram. I know I went to a Catholic school and believe me, back in the day, there was no such thing as Instagram and Twitter. But all the nuns are on Instagram and Twitter and you could follow them. And I believe they had, I don't think they have tour dates on this, but you would have to go onto their Twitter account. And they have like tour dates and stuff. But it, it was fun. It was great. It was for good cause. They were raising money for charities in Boston. So we had a good time. I went with my in-laws. I didn't nobody wanted to be on video, which I understand. So right now it's 11.15, guys, and I still have to edit this video. And I still have to finish up my essay for the home study. So, like I said yesterday, I was able to get about two paragraphs done. So I have this one. So tonight what I'm going to do, you know, it's already morning probably when, I, when I'm done. But what I'm going to do is type up what I have and then tomorrow I could continue. So tomorrow, guys, we are putting up my Christmas tree. And, oh, Christmas tree! <laughs> I love that song. And my friend's coming over. It's actually for late birthday brunch, so I will bring you guys along for the birthday brunch. And we're just going to watch a movie. What else have I planned? We're going to finish up cleaning the pink room that I have. Um, then what else am I going to do? going to do some laundry. It's just a pretty relaxing day. I don't really think I'm going to do much than that. But I will check in with you guys. See you guys for day two. Bye!